and we reject woke ideology. We fight the woke in the legislature. We fight the woke in the schools. We fight the woke in the corporations. We will never, ever surrender to the woke mob. Florida is where woke goes to die. Welcome back to Bear Back Podcast. I'm your host. So, Ron DeSantis, you know, had been on a rant for the last year or so about the woke. Woke this, woke that. So this way, I mean, the woke come to die. Now, who the fuck is the woke? Black people are the woke. Black Americans are the woke. Black Americans are the fucking woke. But yet, Throw Ross and hide his hand. Let's get into it. Ron DeSantis has been very anti-black American. He don't want black kids learning about black American history. He'd rather have them learn, you know, that slavery wasn't so bad, that, you know, slaves benefited from slavery. All types of weird ass shit, right? He's not stupid. So, during the CRT thing, he was trying to say that the curriculum had LGBTQ shit hobart into it. And I, I could bend him for that. Fuck the LGBTQ shit. We ain't with none of that. That's not woke. He knows what woke means. Lawyers said for DeSantis, when they were forced in court to define woke. Um, this is from Ryan Newman, who is DeSantis's general counsel. To me, it means someone who believes that there are systemic injustices in the criminal justice system, and on that basis, they can decline to fully enforce and uphold the law. Uh, it would be the belief there are systemic injustices in American society and the need to address them. So basically, woke in the eyes of DeSantis's lawyer there means people who acknowledge reality and understand that there are systemic injustices and inequalities in the American justice system. Right? See, here's the fun thing about that. Like he's like, well, I think it means this. I mean, to me, it means this, you know, we just, we can't have that. Those injustices, those inequalities are well documented. It's not a conspiracy theory to think those things are happening. There have been studies in the United States for decades. We get a new one like every two or three years proving that those things are real. He knows it means black Americans. He knows it means black injustices that's, that we, that we addressing today that we want rectified today. You know, it means reparations and not so much as money, but it's repairing the black ethnicity in, in America's We've been done wrong the most. When it says that he's an immigrant, matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? He's an Italian immigrant. At first, the motherfuckers catch a flame. That woke shit was working at first. And then he went too far. And now he's fucking plummeting. No one's fucking with Ryan Santas. He's, he's, he's a fucking lame duck. Part of the reason why is there's only so much you can attack black America. You have the right, right? Let's say, yeah. So, so you have the far left. You have the left, you have the right, then you have the far right, right? Most people fall in left or right and closer to the middle. Black Americans, we are directly in the middle. We ain't left or right. We 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 the middle of this shit. You know what I mean? Because the decision makers, like, I mean, we go left or right, it depends on us. No one says this, no one knows this, but our vote is the most important vote. Because we are the biggest mindless group. That is say Latinos, and I said this before, Latinos is not one mindless group. Neither is white. White is not one mindless group, believe it or not. There's all types of white people. You have Polish, Irish, Jewish, German, um, Russian. I mean, all these groups and people don't really think in one cohesive type of direction. Black Americans, we more so want the same thing because we have the only, we have the same experience. It's like 50 million black Americans. Mexicans are deep too, but Mexicans kind of divided too because you have the, you know, Mexicans is here. You have the gang of Mexicans, the Cholos, Northerners, Southerners. Then you have the people who's here to give a fuck about people over the border. People over the border don't know what the fuck is going on. So it's a lot going on with them, you know what I mean? But for the most part, black Americans are the, are the center of attention. When it comes to this voting, they focus on us, right? The gunman. This guy been a weirdo since he was, he was, he was a kid. Suicide attempts, um, running with the police. His parents are like on some 
which is weird because his parents is more like, you know, <laughs> they're leaning more towards, you know, anti-Trump. They're more Democratic, guys. It's all right. And I'm going to tell you a story, right? I knew, this, I knew this girl, this girl from Shelton, right? This white bitch. Her, she had two sons. One is half black. One is all white. The youngest one is all white. All white ones are all all right terrorist type of motherfucker too. He's... He's a racist too. He kind of hate his brother a little bit, but he loves his brother. It's a weird situation. I didn't want to get into it. The bitch is telling me this shit. I was like, yo, all right, bitch, you raised the white supremacist. Congratulations. Fucking idiot. Suck this black dick. She sucked the black dick. Did it for us. Anyway, the shooting went down in the neighborhood. Ronda Sintes showed up with his hands behind his back as if he had nothing to do with it and shit. Hey, guys. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's a tragedy, right? Yeah, sure is sad. And motherfucker, you was instigating this shit the whole time. Now, I ain't saying he provoked the shooting because white people shoot everywhere nationwide. They, they mass shoot every day, all day. They've been doing it. They shoot schools up. They shoot synagogues. They shoot mosques. They shoot gay people. They shoot black people all the time. We like, we their favorite fucking targets. So he shows up and they booed his ass. Booed his ass. Right? Right? What they should have been doing, you know, the Bear Bat podcast does not promote violence of any sort. But if they were shooting tomatoes and eggs at his ass or rocks at his ass, I would understand. Because he kind of deserved these fucking stoned to death. Perhaps, you know what I mean? Not, not stoned to death, you know, tomato, eggs, and shit like that, crates, light frames. They can throw shit like that at him. That's kind of normal. He, he can survive that. But the thing is, when they boo this motherfucker, this weirdo looking bitch named Jacoby. Okay, listen, y'all. Let me let me tell you, we finna put parties aside. Cause it ain't it ain't about parties today. A bullet don't know a party. So don't get me started. Okay, Jacoby is nice, but Ann is not. Now, if the if the if the governor wanted to come here and he bringing gifts to my community, y'all know I'm taking the gifts. Because we've been through enough already, and I don't wanna go through no more. This weirdo looking bitch named Jacoby. Now, I know what you're saying. It's disrespectful to elders. I said it last time about Larry Elder, too. A lot of y'all dickheads is on my inbox. Oh, oh, it's disrespectful. Man, fuck an elder. Yo, an elder don't get no respect if, it's, if, if the elder is disrespectful to the people. I'm going to say this and learn this. No one is above the fucking program. Black American agenda is the program. Anyone against that is the enemy to the program. We are the program. We are the reps. This is rep gang. This mammy ass weirdo grinch looking gremlin looking blonde hair bitch with weird this bitch, is, looks, this bitch looks gross has audacity to, to come in and, and trying to act like she was auntie or she was like grandma or mama or some shit and and, and talking about some bullets on no fucking party but the alt right know a party bitch alt right is a fucking party it's the alt right it's the right that is a party those bullets was all right bullets the fuck is you talking about you weirdo and then this like shit against me gifts bitch Bribes, bitch. You got some money, bitch. Ain't you a councilman? Ryder Sintas is a crook. He's a crook. And not because he's Italian. No, 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 no. Not because he's Italian, but he's Italian. <laughs> and and I don't want to stereotype all Italians, but we do know Italian niggas pay bribes, take bribes, freeze palms. This nigga Sintas is making a motherfucking fortune taking motherfucking bribes. Santas has signed several pieces of insurance legislation since he was in governor. All all sort of ostensibly built around this idea that we're, we're trying to stabilize the market. But what these pieces of legislation have essentially done is given the insurance industry things that it has been lobbying for four years in Florida, more than more than a decade in some cases. The big bill DeSantis signed was in December 2022. It had three major provisions. One, it took away the rights of customers to sue their insurance companies if they don't pay claims on time or if they delay or deny claims unfairly. Two, it made it easier for insurance companies to raise rates even higher than they already are by taking away the risk that they might lose customers to a state-run insurance option. That's a place to find insurance without having to worry about, you know, a profit motivation. And three, uh, they've extended an enormous amount of public subsidies to the industry in the form of below market reinsurance. That's insurance insurance companies buy for themselves. Under Ron DeSantis, the state of Florida has extended the amount of publicly subsidized reinsurance by $3 billion. You think that with subsidies this big, there would be a few strings attached. Critics would tell you that if you're going to be providing this essentially taxpayer backed insurance to insurance companies, then there should be some immediate corresponding reduction that consumers see the benefit of the risk that they themselves are taking on. We have yet to see any signs of relief for consumers. DeSantis, meanwhile, 
has been rewarded with $3.9 million in donations from the industry. The Florida ethics code is very clear. The governor or any public official is not supposed to be taking gifts meant to influence a future decision or reward a past decision. One of the largest and most politically influential home builders in Florida essentially gave the governor a $30,000 golf simulator. A golf simulator that was installed in the governor's mansion in 2019. Got a $30,000 motherfucking golf simulator in his fucking, in his fucking government house, whatever that shit is, because an, an investor gave it to him because, you know, he want to invest some shit. He, he, he want to build some shit. He'd be back doing his own citizens. He's all for the fucking, you know, utility companies raising their prices, all types of shit. And, 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 and the people can, can barely afford the utilities and a fucking, when it come to rent and, and landlords and shit, rent's going up like my triple the fucking national motherfucking average. Florida is crazy right now. It's people can really motherfucking pay rent in Florida because this fucking scumbag, he's like, this nigga is a scumbag. Yeah, I don't be knowing how people be getting in the office. I really fucking don't. Because these people are not likable people. These people are not charming people. They're not witty people. I don't get it anyway. He's fucking up Florida. It's hard to live. Rent's high as fuck. Utilities is getting higher by the fucking day. Anyway, this mammy comes through. Why is the crowd from booing? Who gives her the fucking right to do anything? She ain't lose no fucking son. She ain't lose no daughter. She ain't lose no mother. She ain't lose no cousin. She ain't lose no aunt. She ain't lose no nephew. She ain't, she ain't, she ain't even know these people who died. And this bitch everywhere doing a fucking sympathy tour as if she lost something because it's her fucking, because she's a councilman and it's in her fucking county or her district. Who gives a fuck? And if you the family, this bitch says, you know, if he comes I'm gonna give gifts, you know, I'm taking it. Really, bitch? You know that's illegal, bitch? You can't take no, your job is not to take gifts. Nah, bitch. Your job is, is, is to get opportunities. Your job is, 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 is to get better education, better housing. Your job is work to work for the fucking people. It's not about giving gifts. There's no gifts for the community. There are tax paying allocations that come to your community from the taxpayers via the governor, via the mayor, whatever, whatever. I, I'm not too big into like how shit goes, you know what I mean? But, but for the most part, I know for a fact it's illegal for governors, mayors, councilmen, aldermen to accept gifts. Meanwhile, you could get a fucking one-on-one -on -one golf session with the Sintas for a hundred thousand dollars in this personal golf thing that that somebody paid him to bribe. It only cost thirty thousand dollars, but he charged you a hundred thousand if you want to grease his palm. See, big money. See, it's big money at stake. He don't care for the people. He ain't for the fucking money. His Italian is showing. His his mafioso is fucking showing. Now, I ain't mad. Get your money. But I think you should be indicted. And I think the alt-right should be indicted. It should be a RICO on the alt-right. On, on, on all, right. all this four chains, all these meetings. My nigga, yo, the government knows what you Google and what you listening to. They know they know what you po how, what type of podcast you like, type of clothes, type of food. They know they know they know if you, you're a fucking racist. But they'd rather get drug dealers who are, you know I mean, economically disadvantaged, trying to make a living. Yeah, they floss a little bit because people are ignorant because, you know, they're economically disadvantaged. They're fucking stupid. We ain't got good schools because our communities is economically disadvantaged. And all y'all do is put bullshit in the TV. Y'all put bullshit in that food. And y'all promote bullshit because when I say y'all, I mean the establishment, the government and the establishment. Those who fund the government, like Hollywood funds the government. They put a bunch of shit on TV. I, I got into that last time. I don't got to get into all that. Y'all catch up and go to my old, go to my old, my old, which code if you're new here. Oh, by the way, thank you for subscribing. All my new subscribers, thank you. I'm going to shout y'all one day. So I'm, I'm going to have a, a new subscriber list and I'm going to have a suck a dick list. Everybody who be fucking hating in my comments, y'all can suck a dick. I don't give a fuck about you. Anyway, so yeah, this crooked ass DeSantis had a nerve to come out and the mammy came out pacifying shit. She lost nothing. Juxtapose. To when DeSantis was talking to the Jews, the woman's going, Are people quick to turn on us for some small fucking crumbs? Small amount of crumbs, you could get one one person to, to, to turn, turn on all of us. This is the thing, though, that they're not realizing. One person does not control us no more. You can give us an Al Sharpton or Jesse Jackson no more. Them days are over. All the old people, you, listen. <laughs> It's over for the old. We don't give a fuck about no old people. If you 60, 50, shut the fuck up. Get out the way. All that Jesus shit is dead. All that forgiveness shit is dead. It's a new day. I personally don't, get, don't believe in none of that Jesus shit or God. So I have no forgiveness in my heart. I have no friendship in my heart. It's nothing but enemies I see. Like if you go against the black American, if you go against the, the program, it's not forgiving you. And there's no respect for you either. Yo, I was taught to respect my elders. I respect my elders. I really do. I'm really a nice guy. But bitches are bitches. 
Bitches get called bitch, and this old bitch is disrespectful as fuck. How you gonna tell people who's more than one of their friends, more than their cousins, who more than their fucking children to hush, be quiet? It's not about parties. Are you fucking crazy? This scumbag signed bills that y'all can't protest. He made it cool that he, it, you can run people over with your fucking cars if they ain't your fucking way on the road and the highways. And not only that, he was doing all this, all, all this woke shit. He made it so you can just carry guns. Like it's like a, a no permit carry in Florida, which y'all understand how come all the blacks ain't strapped. Y'all need to be out that door is rapping in Florida about how y'all strapping and y'all drilling and y'all ain't, y'all niggas ain't on point. Nigga, if you see a white boy out of place anywhere, nigga, you get on that nigga hills with, 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 you clack that thing, you, you, and you attack that thing. I ain't promoting violence. I'm saying, you know, check him because he's out of place. You see a fucking scrawny white kid, long trench coat or with a vest or what the fuck is he doing here in the black? Come on, my nigga. Nah, he's out of pocket. You can't go to a fucking white community being black. You can be doing your job. You can live in the community. If you don't like community, cops is on you. People are on you. Do you live here? Karens, fucking old white men, children. What you doing here? All types of shit going on. We got to have the same energy and more. And Michael Vegas, we were celebrating, you know, the, the boat shit. You know what I mean? The chairman and all that shit. But the Punisher came back with bullets. They up. We ain't even harmed nobody doing, doing the boat shit. We was all celebrating that shit. We was all goofy and shit. We was all happy because it don't feel good to unite as a black race. But something got to be done with that shit. His parents need to be accountable. That shooter parents, cousins, aunts, nephews, friends, all need to be held accountable. All of them. Y'all should be knocking on that motherfucking parents' his parents' door. Dragging them out. Nah, nigga, we got to turn energy. Nah, nigga, ain't you, nigga. Listen, listen, listen. Check it out, right? The more these people shoot shit, go to jail or kill themselves, the more they think it's okay. They like martyrs for their people. But if you show one of the motherfuckers, okay, you can shoot us, but we coming for your fucking parents, then that's motherfuckers think twice. We coming for your parents, we coming for your fucking nieces, we coming for your brother, we coming for your sister, we coming, oh, they'll think twice. See, it has to be actions and reactions. When they act, we have to have a reaction for it. We can't just, all that marching, holding fucking conferences and talking and lighting candles and crying on camera, fuck all that shit. Y'all got guns too. He has an address too. He has a father too. He has a mother too. And his fucking father bought, bought him a fucking gun. And he knows his fucking son was a weirdo. Ain't no, and we ain't saying it was, and they try to say this is a mental illness thing. Fuck all that mental illness. All white people got mental illnesses. All y'all got mental illness. All y'all crazy as fuck. All y'all delusional. All y'all think you're not even a fucking bubble. All y'all mentally ill as fuck. But black Americans, we, we have a mental illness too. It's called motherfucking, it's called oppression. It's called a victimhood. And, 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 Y'all ain't gonna tell me, motherfucker, oh, don't be a victim. Nigga, please. Nigga, I've been a victim of my fucking life, nigga. I was born black, nigga. I, I was born in the projects, nigga. Nigga, I went to prison. I've been falsely accused, falsely afraid. I've been assaulted by police for no fucking reason. I've been framed by police. What are you talking about? I know, nigga, my parents was on drugs, motherfucker, because the government put drugs in the community. They felt victim of that shit. I know people who died from AIDS. What are you talking about, nigga? Government put AIDS in the community. I, I know. Everything the government did, I've been a victim of it. Mass incarceration, a grandparents experience, KKK and types of shit. Know what I mean? What are you talking about? My spirit, nigga, I, nigga, I could talk to somebody who went through Jim Crow right now. My grandmother, come on, man, my nigga, I'm tired of slavery, my nigga. My grandmother told, told, told me about her grandparents who was who were slaves, who had whelps on their backs and shit. Y'all can't tell me shit. I mean, because I'm a victim doesn't mean I'm weak. Let's not confuse that, nigga. It doesn't mean niggas is weak. Y'all confusing that. Don't be a victim. Fuck you mean don't be a victim. They shouldn't been fucking predators. They shouldn't been fucking oppressed. Tell them don't stop being oppressors. Tell them stop being fucking predators. Tell them stop attacking us. Tell them, tell them stop targeting us. They get carried away in these fucking comments and all this reality. I ain't got time for none of y'all fucking delusional niggas. I'm gonna fuck about nothing y'all gotta say in my comments. All y'all can suck a dick. Cause nigga for one, black Americans are victims. Everyone in America got to fucking live the American fucking dream while we experience a motherfucking nightmare. We built this shit. Nigga, we, we did all the fucking reaping, all the fucking... All, all the hard work, and y'all just get the fucking harvest. What the fuck is you talking about? The Santos is not even a fucking American. He's an Italian. But yeah, he get to run fucking offices, high, high places and shit. Have the nerve to turn on us. Sign the bills against us. Don't want to teach our kids about, about our fucking history because it might offend some fucking white children. But yet, he don't mind having our kids watching Roots and, and telling us that we was fucking slaves and shit. How do you think that affect our children? The fuck is y'all be, t listen, listen, listen. This is not a Puerto Rican channel. This is not a European channel. This is not a Jamaican channel. This is not a Haitian channel. This is a pure black American channel. And I got smoke for everybody. I got smoke and I got flame for your ass, nigga. I'm, listen, this is what I'm telling you. Suck a dick. If you disagree with what I'm saying, you and your children could suck a dick. Family, I got a, I got a whole box of dicks for y'all. Y'all all can eat them. I can't believe this bitch had a nerve to say it's not about, it's not, it's not about, Racial part. It's not, it's not about political parties. Bitch, since when? Everything Ronda Sintas says is for the right. It's for the alt right. He's following Trump. He's trying to be the next Trump. But him, see, the thing about him and Trump is Trump has, you know, 
Trump is a real white guy. Blonde hair, blue eye. Father was a KKK nigga. Trump is a real. Trump is a real, <laughs> a real, a real white guy. He doesn't from immigrants too, but Trump, Trump, Trump is a white guy. And I ain't saying I'm pro Trump because I think I think Trump is personally. I think he's. I think he's really personally an idiot. But I think he's hilarious and. He getting some stimmies. I'm pro stimmy, nigga. Listen, this is what we gotta do, man. We are no longer letting women talk for us. That council woman had no fucking business talking for for nobody, for no community. Bitch, shut up. Shut your old ass up. Not about old, all that slave talk, no more, and all that, all that country shit. You in the bitch, you better stop that fucking jigaboo shit. I can't take this shit no more. Who, the fuck, who, who talks like that in real life? Auntie Tom, fucking bitch, was an auntie motherfucking Tom, my nigga. The Al Sharpton era is over. The Boomer generation era is over. You don't give a fuck about nothing I gotta say. You had your turn. And every time, every time you, you got, you got, you got a platform. I was talking about peace. Y'all was talking about everybody else. Let's all come together. They shot us, but y'all bringing in fucking anti-Semitic fucking bills too. When they shoot black people, you saying minorities. You are saying people with color. You gotta throw LGBTQ into nah nah nah. Nobody gay got shot. Nobody fucking Jew got shot. No Latino got shot. This ain't about none of them. This is only about us. Every time we get a bullet, everyone else got got got, got to get the fucking you know what I mean benefit from it. Every time somebody, every time one of one of ours die, all the minorities get the benefit from it. Everybody get bills and laws and shit from us. And yo, what's the anti-black bills at? We gotta stop Ramaswamy and fucking Ron Santas for for. For talking openly about anti-black American shit, every time they turn around, it's the anti-black thing he got us. They, they got to say, "Some motherfucker want to stop Juneteenth for what? Let us celebrate. Use a fucking immigrant. What the fuck are how they got to do with you? You don't fucking belong here. We nigga, we the reason why you here. And Ronda Sintas passed on all these fucking bills, man. Fuck these niggas, man. Look, it has to be ramifications for being anti-black. When we get killed, it has to be ramifications for that shit. And fuck them laws. Laws is not enough. It's not to knock on doors and address people's parents. Your son killed the people. You have to pay. And yo, check it out, right? Every time somebody white kill us, don't talk about gun control, right? Make no sense, right? If someone with a gun make a decision, he can't be stopped. Can't be stopped. If he's, if someone decide I'm going to do this with this gun, he can't be stopped. Can't no cop stop him. Can't, 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 can't no government, can't no FBI stop him. Can't no law stop him. So what needs to be done is... We need to set up situations that when that shit happens, we make them pay for that shit. We gotta make some motherfuckers think twice. I was just um listening to a, a um a video about the um deacons of the defense, right? He's the first guys who was up to the KKK. I think down in Mississippi, KKK was wilding out. These dudes was they got together, started shooting up with the KKK and the police. These motherfuckers was regulating shit and shit. They got respect and, and, and a lot of shit died down. You know why? Because they wasn't marching. They wasn't praying. They wasn't trying to talk. They wasn't trying to get no fucking money. They was regulating and representing. They was putting the, they was putting the hammer down back. Nigga, you, you attack us, we attack you back. Nigga, it got to be physical for physical. It can't be, it, we can't, we can't pray for them when they're shooting us. We can't talk to them when they're shooting us. We can't cry after they kill us. Expect laws to change shit. Laws don't change nothing. Laws don't stop nothing. I'm, listen, laws don't stop nothing. Has to be consequences and repercussions. Now, the Bear Bad Podcast is not promoting violence. I am not promoting violence. But since y'all Christians, the Bible does say eye for an eye. What happened to that? Y'all want to turn your cheek. Fuck them pages. Fuck that script. I, I, no, tell me about the eye for eye shit. What's that about? Wasn't David motherfucking um smiting motherfuckers? Wasn't David smiting motherfuckers? Wasn't King Solomon smiting motherfuckers? Wasn't Elijah smiting motherfuckers? Yeah, nigga, take that from the Bible. The smite. Let's start smiting some shit. Have an old, some old nigga want to come and pray. Some old, it's always some old preacher nigga, some old preacher bitch coming out here talking about some Jesus and forgiveness. Nigga, fuck all that. All that shit is done. We ain't never doing that shit again. Nigga, that, that generation is dead to us. Fuck that generation. Fuck everybody who talk like that. Fuck everybody, oh, oh, Jesus, forgive. Nah, 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 nah. Fuck all that. Jesus ain't real. When nigga, now what? Now that Jesus ain't real, now what we gonna do now? Jesus, fuck all that Jesus shit. Now, now what we gonna do? See, the Bible allows people to be fucking cowards. I know somebody, right? Nigga wanna be a street nigga all his life. He, 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 he's a fake street nigga, right? Gave nigga a gun. He gets robbed for the fucking gun. Ran to church. Nigga been in church since. He ain't want to get back. He ran to church. Nigga for a whole, whole two years, his private was just, he was just fucking down. You know why? Because he's a coward. He was a fucking coward. He got the high by high Christianity. So in the streets, you a fucking coward, but you redeem yourself because I gave my, my life to the Lord. Nah, nigga, you's a fucking coward. I didn't forget. Nigga's a fucking coward. Don't allow your Christianity to make us all cowards. We have to ignore Christianity. Christianity is for fucking cowards. People won't want to do nothing. It's easy to, to turn to God and say forgiveness. It's easy. You don't got to do nothing. We justify a fucking coward. I don't give a condolences to their family down there, man.
That shit is sad, man. But strap up. Everybody, everybody black in Florida, strap up. Everybody should be strapped the fuck up. Stay strapped, especially if you got no felonies. If you have no felonies, I don't give a fuck. Listen, there's no reason for you not to have a gun. A gun on your hip, a gun in the car, a gun in the house, a gun in your fucking... Listen, if you have no felonies, get all the guns you could get. And keep your hand on it every time you walk these motherfucking streets. Every time you see somebody white, question, what the fuck you doing? What the fuck you doing around here, white boy? Because my nigga, they always come to us. The Buffalo shooter came right in the mix of us. The little motherfucker who shut the church up in South Carolina came right to us. And all these guys is all right. Why some, some, you know this? You know what KKK is, right? You know what Nazis is, right? You know what neo-Nazis is, right? Now you got to know what white supremacy is all white supremacy and AKA the alt right. Now, the thing about DeSantis is he was popular when he, when he was a little racist because America likes a little racist. But when you get too racist, I'm gonna be honest with you, my nigga. Most white people ain't racist. They're really not. A lot of white people are good people. I mean, they are little racist. White people are racist because America is racist. That's how it go. America is racist. But despite how racist it is, a lot of white people are not that fucking racist. A lot, a lot of white people, they do look down on that shit. Now, I commend them. I'm even cool with some ex-Nazis ex and shit, but I'm cool. But we ain't friends, but we talk, we conversate, we have common ground. We have a lot of common beliefs. Most whites ain't racist. Do we hold the Santas liable? Check it out, right? Words demands action. When someone speaks to you, they're speaking to influence you to do something or learn something. Or when I talk to you, right? When I say, hey, yada, 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 I want you to do something or know something. So first is the word, then it's the actions. I give you a word, you're going to get it, compute it, you're going to react to it. The Santas and Ramaswamy been spreading anti-black sentiments for the last fucking few months in the within the last year. This could be the result of that. Or this could be just a result of white supremacy because without them, this is what they do anyway. White people shoot up shit anyway. You know how they say black on black crime? What about black on black crime? If black on black crime stopped, guess who would be the victims? And this is why we need to stop black on black crime. Because we we because we're, we're the same team. But guess who's not on our team? The people who says, what about black on black crime? Motherfucker, yeah, you're right. What about it? It should be your ass we, 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 we doing these crimes too. I'm mad at that Jacoby bitch. She had no right to tell people to calm down and be quiet. No right. And the sentence had no had no right being amongst them. And it's this dumb ass wife just smiling. This bitch is just smiling the whole fucking what is this smug bitch smiling about? I might just fucking die, bitch. This bitch smiling the whole fucking time. The sentence should have never felt safe going to that community or any black community. Never, ever. He said, never feel safe. And the Bear Bad Podcast, don't promote hate or violence. That nigga should never feel safe around us. Nobody. No coon should feel safe around us. No anti-black, Indian, Hispanic, Latino, nobody should feel safe around us. The hostility got to go up. Now, I'm not disputing hate. I'm just saying we, we have to defend ourselves, protect ourselves. And, you know, for every one of us, 10 of them. How they come at us? Don't respect nothing else. They expect us to march, give, hold hands. Pray. That era's dead. I'm a new era. Not that young. I ain't that old. And I'm giving y'all a new motherfucking gospel. Never forgive and get your leg back. Get 10 legs back. If you get one of us, get 10 leg backs. It's only fair. We all number 10 to 1. That's that's the and that's being fair. 10 to 1 is being fair. Now being nice, we deserve if we want to get 20 in the motherfuckers. But you know, I'm black. I'm a man of justice. Fairness. Despite the injustice and fairness, they don't give to us. It's a bit about podcasts. I just don't talk about that, man. You know, it's sad. We keep, we keep, we keep letting these people repeat the same shit, and we do the same shit. Cry on TV. Let these let white people come in and and and, and speak. And fuck that. No, don't talk to us. Do you bring bring us the parents and the siblings and the nieces and the nephews of that family? That his whole family should pay for what what happened. Every relative, up and down, left and right, mother, father, children. Niece, nephew, brother, sister, killing innocent people. Your family should pay for that. Make that a law. I, 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 I better stop all that fucking terrorist shit. I better, I better stop a lot of motherfucking white supremacists, motherfucking terrorist attacks. White supremacists, all right, a terrorist. White supremacy, white supremacists are terrorists. You have to keep this in your mind. These people are terrorists. They're nothing else but terrorists. All they do is shoot up innocent people. Soft target. They don't go to the hood. I never, I never once heard, 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 heard of, 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 of a white shooter go to go in Detroit and, and you know what I mean, or go to Chicago, or go to South Central, or go to the Ville and try that shit. You know why I don't try that shit? Because they they know it's pushback and they know it. A nigga might go in his pockets, see see his ID, and go right to his fucking house and ask his mother and father 
what up with this? You know what I'm saying? They get soft targets and shit, people shopping, people went in school. I, I want to give a good a good shout out to the guards who was at the school. When the guy tried going to go to school, he had the credentials, that checked them, that stopped them. You probably killed a whole lot more people. I don't, you, they did the right thing. There's no punk ass left. And stop stop recording people on, on your fucking phone and get that get that get to being active. You fucking recording for what? Get get active, nigga. You fucking coward. Too much coward shit be going on, my nigga. So y'all want to record shit and get clout. Nigga, get active, nigga. Fuck all that shit. It's a bad podcast, man.